Tell us a little bit about your business. The name of it is Rashini Performance, Performance Group. Performance Group. And if people want to reach you, of course. RashiniGroup.com. RashiniGroup.com. Yeah. Or we'll they can, of course, uh, Twitter and Facebook, Rashini R on Twitter and Rashini Any Rajkumar. She's doing it all, honey. She's well, doing it all. you know what's interesting <laughs> in the five and a half years I've had my company. So I'm a speaker and a communication coach. When different business people come to me, whether it's to prep them for their interviews or to do their own speaking, my life as a TV reporter and then my time here at WCCO Radio for a year and a half, all of that, interviewing thousands of people, writing thousands of scripts, really helps me see the news in a different way. And now that I'm on kind of the other side, not mm -hmm. as a full-time journalist, mm -hmm. I can be a little more opinionated mm -hmm. and I can prep those people to do the media well and, mm -hmm. and to be really thoughtful when they're doing their interviews. Mm -hmm. Because I think that's where it starts, especially but, with volatile but, but what's stories. Curious for Back to Steel Talking. I am your host, Geraldine Steele. This is a sister girlfriend hour with Rashini Rajkumar in studio with me. Hey now. Hello. Okay, so that's that story about burying the dead came out of Michigan. It's the poor families. Those poor that cannot pay for their own burial. The government had money set aside of about thirteen hundred dollars per person. Now that money now is it's out gone. of the yeah, it's out of the well, they voted and, that in in May. And so the whole legislature probably had to act to make that happen, but probably in that legislature there's no one really representing yeah. the, the people who would actually need that fund. Yeah. Who will speak if you don't? The exactly. They can't speak. And that is part of what the media is supposed to do. That's the role. The media should get in there, ask the questions. It's a good story. Yeah. And, and my thing from the outside now, not being a full-time journalist anymore, but I still feel very connected to the media. I still don't vote in caucuses. I don't share, you know, my beliefs very openly. But, you know, it's frustrating for me sometimes to see both the local and national media not covering some of the stories that really need to be covered.